a new day at the Jabal Ali port in Dubai. Thousands of boxes, thousands of containers. But how to find and pick up the right one quickly? Hello fellas, how's it going? That's the daunting right. challenge for Patrick Bowl. The next big idea in the port industry is uh, what you see here uh, behind me. That's the uh, box bay, the container high bay store. Port operator DP World is piloting a project to speed and automate logistics in Dubai ports, the first of its kind. It puts containers into a racking system. Uh, see it as a, as a bookshelf, but we can access every container directly on both sides to stack the containers up to 11 storeys high. The goal here is to find the containers without reshuffling, saving time, space and energy. We save about 60%, uh, 70% of the timing because we only handle productive moves. Conventional systems gives you, let's say, 8 to 9 productive per hour. And here we do 19 to 20 containers per hour per stacker crane. DP World says Box Bay can reduce the terminal footprint by up to 70%, but the team also likes the added safety features. And in a normal situation, uh, this would be all 100% automated. No hands, no controls. But if the system for some reason uh, uh, fails, the engineer can take over and take uh, manual control of the stacker crane. Global trade is recovering from the coronavirus economic downturn. And technologies like Box Bay could help DP World, which handles around 10% of global container traffic, keep up with the growing global demand for goods. If you ask me one thing that keeps me awake at night is technology. Technology today is a key for success. Key to be able to fulfill the needs and the changing needs and the requirements to handle cargo. But adopting developing tech comes with high costs and it isn't without its challenges. The issue, of course, is always how high you can go. What is the optimum? The higher you go, the more weight you're going to put. Sometimes the cost of going much higher will overweigh the benefit. From this to this, Box Bay is already giving a glimpse of how DP World's 64 ports and marine terminals around the world might work in the future. Eleni Jokas, CNN.